Hello and welcome to Factorio Raw, I'm Ocretio. In this episode I plan on doing some maintenance work. So let's get a bunch of uh, red wires created. And I'm thinking that let's use red wires for uh, close. When we uh, do things that are close to the uh, close to each other. And green wires we will use if we need to do it over some distance. So what I want to hook up is this chest with this inserter. So what I want to tell this inserter is that enable condition if transport belts equals zero. Yeah, that's basically it. If this doesn't have any uh, any content, then we should use stuff from over here. Otherwise, let's just use what we have in this chest. And this should always work, so that shouldn't be an issue, I think. Uh, and let's do the same over here want to activate this if red belts equals zero. Goody. Hopefully this one doesn't cause problems with uh, with one single item, but we will have to see. Then we do the same over here. Oh, yeah. And we do the same over here. This one, if yellow on ground equals zero, use that. This one, if uh, red on ground equals to zero, we use that. Great. So we, we still get stuff being manufactured. Maybe we shouldn't even do that. Let's see, can we stop that? Oh, can we... I don't know how to do that, so let's not worry about that. But this shouldn't be used at least. Yeah, we have a four over there and nothing is happening. Oh, let's see when we are actually producing something in this, chair, in this assembly machine instead. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't think about when building this, but that turned out pretty good anyway, is this chest. We are actually able to uh, to pretty easily hook this up. Yeah, that worked. We are actually we are able to pretty easily hook up uh, a belt to this, either beside it or directly to the uh, to the inserter feeding it. So. That's fine, and the same over here. Okay, so we have that done. The next thing we need to do is to do uh, to make sure that trains can refuel. Because we don't want to see this. And this is not that bad, it's at least at the station. But we definitely don't want to see it out in the wild. But for that train right now, let's grab some coal and then we ah. <clears throat> then we refuel the train a bit enough to make it go to the to make it run again. Maybe we will stop again. I don't know. And then we go over to the. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Then we go over to these stations and start building on a refueling system. Oh yeah, and we have refueling for these four stations. We just do it in between, I guess, one station here, up, down, one here, up, down, and the same over here. 
that's not a big deal. And then we have this station over here, which is harder to do since uh, we have a lot of things in the way. But we will hopefully be able to manage it by honestly by cheating a bit. Why aren't the train arriving? What hap what happened now? The train is still over here. Please don't tell me that it ran out of uh, of a fuel. That the other locomotives need to have fuel as well. Something like that. Oh. <coughs> no. I mean, we don't have proper signaling. And we know that. But I don't understand why this signal is red. Oh, <laughs> no. Yes, this signal is red because this is connected to this line, which is connected to this line, and it's got a train on it. This train. Okay. Uh, since this is a maintenance episode, I guess signal is right in there with all the maintenance. Okay. So let's see, we want, oh, we don't need a signal over there, but we need a signal getting in here. Our first job is to get that to run. We need another signal over here and yet another, oh, we don't need another one over there. This one, we need a signal over there as well. Yeah. But what that basically does is to say that this part and this part is the same because they are connected over there. Okay, we need another signal over here to make sure to split them up. Okay, so we have that. We need, I think, a signal over here as well. Goody. Uh, as usual, we keep the one in the middle. Just since we want it to be kept, basically. And then we have the output over here. Let's make signals there. That should be kind of okay. Let's have a look at, oh, I just saw that we are out of fuel over here. So let's go and refuel everything. Okay, let's go and refuel some of the things. Okay, that's working again. How are the engines coming along? Oh, we have all of the engines. Goody. Goody, good. And we have loads of iron. When we are filling up the train, I don't think we need uh, chests anymore. Because then we have that much that the, the small amount of time where the train isn't there, isn't a big problem. I forgot to limit this chest. Let's limit it to two stacks for now. We will use a bit more later on, I guess. But right now, two stacks is plenty. Oh, wait. I forgot about the signals. Ah. Yep, so signals over here. Uh, one going in to release everything as quickly as possible. And one going out to uh, 
to wait as long as possible before requiring uh, any passage. And then we do the same, well, let's use that one instead, and, and one over there, the same for this train. <coughs> okay, we can't have any signals between those. Let's not worry about the trains going on, actually not now. We can't really worry about that. Um, I'm making a mess of this signaling. Chain signals, we have chain signals. Okay, why am I not using those? Okay, we don't want a train to get stuck halfway. So what we want to do is to change a few of the signals. This should be a chain signal and this should be a chain signal making sure that we will not exit unless this is green and if that's green it will go at least down here and not be in the way of everything else if we place another chain signal there at least um, wait is this yeah like that i mean okay what about these two? Well, I still think we should place... Since we are using chain signals, we can place one at each end. Oh, one is enough over there, I guess. But one at each end makes sure that it releases as fast as possible and it reserves the space as late as possible, I think. I think that I think that's how it works. But that's what we need. Yeah, and that one and we don't need any other signals over here. Okay. Over here, I'm not gonna look at that today. I don't feel I don't feel that confident doing it to be honest. But this one, I can have a look at that one as well. Change that to a chain signal. This is a chain signal. Chain signal, chain signal. Chain signal, chain signal. And chain signal. Meaning that this have to be, no, this have to be green. Then we have two and a half plus a few. Meaning that we get at least a bit more space before uh, this train can exit. I'm surprised this train hasn't returned yet. No, of course, it ran out of fuel again. I didn't uh, fill up all of the fuel as I should have. <coughs> Let's stand on this side and fuel those. Uh, those, those, those locomotives. And then we want to actually set up the, the refueling over here. Okay, well, there is a few ways of doing this. Why have I made this? Why have I made it this way? Coal and stone. What if I switch those? Now, let's not worry about that. Actually, let's go to manual over here. Uh, just to make sure that we get it set up correctly. I mean, this will have to be rebuilt. But I'm thinking just siphon off this coal line for the moment and then we uh, in the future we will have robots or something to handle it but right now it's enough to just siphon off. That's fancy having a blue belt for refueling.
okay so i guess like that oh yeah uh, and one there and then we want to go on to the other side one there one there and these and then we have uh, insert or there insert or there and we have that oh we don't have any power let's fix that later on oh no more belts no okay let's let's put this back to automatic and then we need to go down and grab some belts so the idea is just to make basically make a quick and dirty job of this I'm not gonna do this in the way I actually want to have it done I'm just gonna get it to work and that have to be enough for now and if it's not enough too bad oh come on oh yes how are we on pollution it's not that bad I thought it would be more pollution than this let's grab the underground belts and let's grab all of the normal belts 241 yeah that's good and then we can place those oh yeah we do have some underground belts as well that I picked up earlier that we won't use anymore so yeah and I mean this is for five items which is two and a half uh, runs per minute so we don't expect to get loads and loads of underground belts and we don't expect to need them oh again getting stuck at that space that place that area okay the hard part of this will be well there's two hard parts one is to get hold of both the locomotives inside of this area of uh, this area of mining drills and the other one will be to get down to these locomotives but I guess we just go from the left and then do one over and get like that yeah that's that seems to be the easy solution Oops. Okay, let's. Oh, no. Oh. Let's just move that power pole. What if it was that easy in uh, real life? Yeah, we, oh, that power pole is in the way. We'll just place it over there instead. Uh, I think we will do like this. Oh, this one have to go. I'm sorry about that. On the ground. And insert us. Good. That should be well. Why did I even go over here? There is a space over there. Uh, oh well, done is done. I don't feel like changing it. There we go. All of it done, and we are. We oh, and we need a bit more iron. And of course, it's not loading. Uh, properly it's not loading it well properly yes but not evenly but so what it's being loaded and it's not backing up anywhere so that's fine okay let's make sure uh, 
Let's make sure to get this set up correctly. I think it will be like that. Okay, now we just need to get down to these, these basic uh, setups. And it will be something like that, something like that. But we need to get some materials going down as well. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly where I wanted it. Just between the locomotives. If we have a split dot there. We could have that. And we could have underground. Like that. Going down, going basically like this, and this one goes down here and going to that. Okay, so that's one thing. Another thing is that we need. We need it over here as well. Can do it in a fun but unreasonable way. That's what we're gonna do, I think. If it's possible, that's what we're gonna do. And that way is to lead it, lead this these two lines all along. Which is of course crazy to do when we could just use a splitter. But that's why it's unreasonable to do it. And then we need insertos. One on each side. Oh, we need them over there as well. And then we do the same at the bottom. And I don't want, well, I actually should, yeah, I should move those. There's no risk to get stuff where we don't want them. So let's do that and let's do it for the bottom one as well. Oh, and we're out of uh, underground belts. Whoops. That's why you shouldn't do those things. But again, you should do it because it's fun. No, there we go. I mean, you could always use just a long-handed inserter instead. That would be way smarter. But yeah, I need to go down and grab a, a few more underground belts to be able to finish this. Do we have all of the belts removed? Yes, we have. Oh, here we have some red wire. One red wire. Okay. Go and grab some more belts, please. And then I should... Mm, yeah, then I should look at this unloading station, because that's really bad. The same, the same place again, again, again. Okay, now we should have, I think, exactly the amount of underground belts we need. 
good and we have the reloading uh, of all of the trains being done automatically well the, f the refueling at least good everything seems to be working fine right now of course since we are using this it's not that good ideally we would have a train as well filling up these chests did i limit these chests no then the uh, loading of this train would go way faster oh but it's done now can i jump into that train no i missed it and i will not try again it hurts too much oh wait a second why are we going that far out with this line i won't change it but we could go a bit tighter over here if if we want to in the future or we could go a bit wide on this one if that suits us better Actually, copper one, full cargo inventory, or 200 seconds past. Okay, let's remove the or 200 seconds. Let's instead add and 60 seconds post. Just to make sure that we, uh, we are not going right away. Okay, oh yes, redesigning this station. To do that, I actually want to send this one away again, which of course my factory won't like at all. Let's, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's remove all of these inserters. We might have to move this up. But that's not that shouldn't be a problem okay so we want to change this to make sure to unload on both sides of the belt uh, and also since I'm anyway redesigning it I should allow some storage so what I'm thinking is uh, is that I don't know Do we store first? Oh, sh oh. <clears throat> this is easier than I thought. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. We don't need a lot of unloading from each individual uh, wagon. So let's just make it simple. Oh, uh, there we go. Unload into one or into two chests. And then we have... Uh, then we unload from those chests to the side. I haven't thought about that possibility before. There we go. There we go, we have a splitter, do the same over here, we have a splitter, I mean of course we can't have more, uh, more than two, uh, oh wrong button, we can't have more than two chests unloading like this. We could have two unloading for the side ones, unloading on the onto the other side. We could also have unloading upwards, if we like that. But I think this would work out pretty good. Let's get rid of that. And see, what can we do? 
What do we need? I don't think we need more than one split like this. Okay, let's go to Ion. I just want to get these inserters placed while there are no train. It will get back really soon. And then we will see if it actually works. Oh, and then of course we should uh, we should change the last belts as well. There we go. And you, how much uh, resources do you have? You have loads of resources left. How much do we have when it comes to when it comes to storage tanks? We don't have a lot of those. Okay, let's not worry about those right now. Oh, that actually worked out. I didn't know if it would be in the way of each other, but it worked out, so no issues. Okay, now we have the train, and now hopefully everything should work. And when we get these ones changed for... Uh, what do you call them? Filter inserters. It's gonna be way faster than it is now. Yeah, this fills up both sides of the belt really quickly. That's more than I need. I mean, of course we are being stopped a bit by the red splitters, but we are filling up the belts, both of those belts, and those belts will actually, um, those belts are way faster than is needed and the smelting of this will be even slower further along. Okay, let's limit it to two uh, stacks per chest. Okay, so it's unloading from that even though it's not loading onto it. That's good. I just want to see that we have limited all of the chests properly. And we have. Goody. And of course, once these gets, these wagons gets uh, more unloaded and uh, maybe they are unbalanced. They shouldn't be really, but maybe they will be. Uh, Actually, the wagons shouldn't be unbalanced, but the right to left over here, that should be a little bit unbalanced. But even if that happens, which it should, it's not really a big deal, because uh, the wagons will be balanced. And once they are empty, the train will go and get new stuff. So... While the train is away, it will use the resources in these chests and everything will be fine. Yeah, this I, I think this works out if we don't need a ton of materials. But what we want to do more is this iron plate or iron, uh, what do we call it, storage tank. Oh, talking about that, we need more storage tanks over here. To store the cra uh, scrap, not crap. I didn't say crap. Okay, we need more fuel for those things. Let's just get a bit and refuel everything. Okay. And then let's get all of the steel. And we need loads of iron plates. Oh yes, we did leave we did leave chests over here with scrap items that we actually want to get uh, returned now. And we are full of stuff. So let's go up and actually before we do go. Oh, we didn't get any more iron plates. Oh, did we? Oh, we did get those two being created at least. 
I thought that maybe we were about to drop storage tanks and that's, although it's not the end of the world, it's not good in any way. Okay, so I don't know, couple, more couple, oh. I didn't think I was able to empty out all of the copper like that, but apparently I was goody. Let's get a bit of uh, iron and then we can create all of those tanks. And I guess let's give, let's get a bit more iron again and then go down and empty out those chests. And when those are empty, then put down the tanks and call it an episode. Good. Oh yeah, and of course get rid of all of the uh, all of the scrap. There we go. Any more scrap? No, I don't think so. Well, actually, yes. The electric engine units, I think, is scrap. Oh, we have loads of normal engine units. I wasn't aware of that. And we have loads of assembly machines as well. We have basically loads of uh, everything we need. Yeah, so I guess in the next episode we should get, well, we should ex actually calculate how to get the, uh, the blue splitters created and do those. But apart from that, we should uh, we should just set up more production because we have what it takes, more or less at least. Okay, so let's set up a few of these. Not too many over there, just uh, to make sure that we have a fair amount of storage. And then we want to change this area. And to do that, let's send this to oil. To be able to empty out these oil lines and let's cut the line there. That hopefully will mean that when this train is at the oil depot, it won't be able to get back. And hopefully that means that it will just stay there. Oh, by the way, can we do this? Can we copy this and paste? Yes, to get the same color. Copy, paste, yes. That way we can have the station in the color of the resource. Still have a bit of oil. Act oh, we have oil in the pumps as well, of course. Uh, oh yeah, we might have to rearrange these pipes as well, but we will see. First of all, I want to empty out these. Well, empty out the pumps. Oh, 191 over there. Empty out the pumps, empty out the uh, pipes and then place, uh, what do you call it? Then place storage tanks at the output to make sure that we are we are unloading quickly i am not sure exactly how to set it up or if it will go with every output because i still want to be able to run through and i might not be able to do that 
but I think it's fair enough to do for as much as we can. Okay, come on. There's a lot of oil in the pumps. More than I thought. 143 normal belts and 28 underground belts. Okay, actually, let's go and grab the underground belts. And uh, yeah, and the normal belts. And place those over there. Goody, still oil in all of these pumps. The problem is that oil, you have an infinite amount, but it takes so long to get it. So I don't want to, uh, to mess around too much with it. Yeah, I know this is kind of slow with these, uh, with emptying out. And that's, that's just how it's set up. Uh, the pipes can't transport as much oil as the pumps can. Not that it's a big deal right now. Uh, because we are not using that much oil. But I still want to empty it out quickly. Okay. Soon soon we are out of uh, crude oil in the pumps yeah can even see it i think or can you nah i don't see any difference between that and that this have some oil this have no oil Zero, 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 some, 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 zero, zero, some. Okay, this is full. As soon as that's, yeah, that's only half full. The pipe is empty. Okay, so let's get the pipes tailed up and get some weight. Oh no, it's not a big deal. It's definitely not, but I thought these were two by two. I don't know why, but they are clearly three by three. Okay, we can't do this. We can't do this, which actually makes it easier. Then we just replace what we had before. And we have to replace the, the uh, rail line as well. And hopefully this train will go right away. Yes, it will. Okay. I mean, we could, if we want to, make some uh, storage somewhere. But it's not actually storage I were, were after. I were after the uh, unloading capacity. Oh, and we still have oil over there. Meaning that we didn't actually lose any production over this. Yeah, okay. The oil was, wasn't as good as I thought. Oh, this train is almost empty. Let's see what happens when it is empty. I mean, ideally, all of the uh, wagons should empty out at the exact same time. 
but I guess we didn't get everything lined up perfectly when we started. Okay, so now that train went away to get some more, uh, some more ore. And in the meantime, we will use the ore we have stored. But I realized that we don't have enough ore. I mean, looking at this, about now, about now, the train have stopped, and we are down to half of our. Uh, storage and then it's gonna take like a day or something to fully load the train before it uh, returns so we don't have enough storage but we have a bit of storage and of course we didn't expect to have enough storage uh, well i i kind of forgot about this but i wanted some storage that's better than no storage Uh, but we will anyway see what happens because we have loads of iron ore on the belts on the belts as well 78 and 16 okay we are not running out over there yeah so we are running out of iron ore in some of the chests well actually all of the chests are running out yeah all of the left side chests are running out all of the right side chests still have some few but they are running out in a second as well yet yeah, the left side chests that's the one for this setup where we have eight uh, seven furnaces and the right side is for this where we have six two four six oh actually it's eight furnaces and six furnaces so i was right the first time but yeah we are running out of oh yeah and we can see this is emptying out fairly quickly and we are using the other side as well so now we don't have any more or at all over here and of course this is running out as well now since we we are using that side for both of the furnace setups and soon it will be uh, completely out for this one and a little bit after that completely out for this one as well let's see do i have oh i don't have i don't have radars that's something we want to add but yeah uh, we are working everything is running out but we are still doing some small bits at least let's see what's happening how much we are basically running out now completely out i mean let's see how full the train is how much we still have to load up 700 800 1.1 1.9 it's about halfway full oh well that's how it is uh, it will get better when i get the delivery trains but anyway that's it for this episode thank you a lot for watching see you next time bye